to my channel it's you know ruth ann's world of course and in today's video i'm gonna be doing a quick wave i've already sectioned my hair off i like you know section my hair off in ponytails and did this technique to like stretch them out and they're just clipped at the top of my head um while i do this section i wash my hair with some shampoo and i've already put my hair protectant on i used the lot of body with coconut and shea oils seek me blowout lotion um up to seven days straight hair which i'm gonna keep i keep my hair when, my, when i straighten my hair i keep it in for two weeks so yeah but this stuff is great stuff my hair is already kind of detangled because of the fact that my hair was in a ponytail for like two days prior to me washing my hair so like it was already kind of not not it wasn't knotted up i have a hair straightening brush set to 385 fahrenheit which if that's high to you i'm sorry i don't really care um but yeah i don't know this is the simply straight hair straightening brush i use it on my hair my hair is still kind of damp but i don't have time to really care about that but that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna use it to straighten my hair i'm gonna do my whole head and then i'm gonna braid my hair down and then we're gonna do this quick weave and i've never done quick weave so this is my first time doing quick weave so bear with me first pass you can tell where i have my heat damage because it's like Pretty straight. <laughs> doing my whole head and then I'm going to um, break down Okay guys, so at this point in the video I'll just be doing a voiceover because I didn't talk much while filming the video um, Here in this clip I'm showing you my you know sad attempt at braiding my hair down It wasn't really necessarily like beautifully braided down like I had some hairpins in there um, but yeah I put on a black um, like stocking cap and I traced out where my real hair was with concealer and then I applied a shield protectant on top of the cap so that none of the like weave glue will get stuck to my real natural hair under the cap and then I went to spray it with got to be spray I saw some other girl do this on YouTube and knowing got to be you know history of being a strong holding spray I trusted it and used it myself and then I went on to blow dry my whole head to make sure everything was dried down everything was sealed and nothing was still wet because then it wouldn't serve its purpose as protecting my bow hair and then I took out the tracks and then I started gluing them and then this is just a time lapse of me gluing the tracks to my head. And I didn't really think about the drying process of the glue for each track because I wasn't necessarily letting them get tacky. But um, yeah, I decided to use a blow dryer instead of just being stupid and letting it air dry because I was being stupid and planning on letting them air dry. But at the end of the day, I used a blow dryer. The glue is not sticky. The glue um, rubs off your fingers if you roll it. So if it gets stuck to your fingers, you can just roll it and it rubs off and it's perfectly fine. It like balls up and rolls off. It's pretty cool. Um, so it wasn't messy in that sense of me getting stuck to everything, which I appreciate. But yeah, here's me just putting it in the last track, 
while filming um, majority of this video, I was on the phone with my sister on, you know, like FaceTime. I and so if you ever see me like talking, it's because I was talking to her. Oh my god, at this part I was so scared I was gonna cut my real hair. <laughs> Words are gonna have to go bald, you know? Like, that was the mentality, like if I cut my hair. Um, at this point it was like 3 a.m., not gonna lie, I started pretty late because I was too busy running around um, doing birthday party errands because my birthday party was literally the next day. So this is me putting my hair away so I didn't straighten my leave out just yet. And then this is me the next day, day of my birthday party, taking down my hair so I can straighten it and curl it so it can match the same texture as the weave. And yeah, I would just like to say, I don't even have this hair in my head anymore at the time of recording this video. It took me so long to edit this video because I was procrastinating so hard on literally everything. <laughs> but um, y'all are gonna get this video now and it's gonna be great. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah, this is just me straightening my leave out in the back, straighten the front, straighten the sides, like, straightened it all. I wore this hair in for two weeks like I said I was going to at the beginning of the video. It lasted, you know, it did its job, it held up. Um, near the last few days of the second week, um, the tracks were kind of lifting at the perimeter um, where my natural hair was. And that's mostly because when I was brushing it, I would be very aggressive, so I don't recommend to be aggressive. I don't what? what what did I just say anyways I don't recommend brushing your hair very like roughly or anything like that I wasn't necessarily brushing my hair roughly but be careful when you start brushing at the top of your head if you're doing this hairstyle and then um, one thing is I don't know if I mentioned this later on in the video I'm pretty sure I did but my hair went green oh my gosh it went so green um after this video too like it full on was green like i had green turquoise hair turquoise is that how you say that yeah sure um <laughs> yeah i'm currently curling my weave out and then look like that is a perfect ringlet i can't believe i did that don't look at this side this side is a um, questionably doing its own thing but i'm trying to curl my hair so i can match the like wavyish texture i already did the back and it blended in beautifully i don't even know where my real hair is in the back right now but it's in there yeah i just wanted to stop the time lapse and show you all that because that was perfection but like i was saying my hair went really disgustingly green so i've dyed my hair since then and now my hair is red and um yeah so maybe in my next video or two i'll be having red hair and y'all will see that so I don't recommend dyeing your hair with Adora Black Hair Dye. And I know that was like my last video that I posted of me dyeing, like doing anything with my hair. It was me dyeing my hair with that. Don't recommend it at all. Especially if you buy any black hair dye, to be honest, that has any undertones of green. In, in general, don't buy black semi-permanent because it'll fade and it'll fade ugly. So don't recommend that at all. My hair is red now because I just used my mom's red hair dye because she hasn't been using it, so I just put it on my hair. My head? My head? What? I put it on my head. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's red now. This is giving me such a throwback to when my hair was really, really long when I was like in elementary school when I had patterned my naturally black hair. Like this is giving me somewhat flashbacks. I'm taking this wax stick that I got from a wig kit and just brushing the, my flyaways in the front back and I'm gonna go over this I'm gonna pass over this again spray it with hairspray and then um straighten it like curl it like how these are curled and then I'm gonna do the other side and then I will see y'all when I'm finished with the whole head so you know as of lately I'll just give y'all a little update but I've been doing some like artistic stuff like making music actually make music been making music since like the seventh grade like so basically since the time i've had a youtube channel basically just been messing around with music and i finally decided that i was gonna release my music to the world and not just put it on soundcloud really shady so um y'all stay tuned for that too because big things are happening <laughs> God, she's straightening the last piece of hair. Yo, the I'm surprised I didn't get heat damage. Y'all need to buy that Lotto body um, um, heat protectant lotion, whatever, whatever. All right, guys, I did my 
hair. My hair kind of turned green right here from when I dyed my hair black. So if you have natural black hair, that's fine, but I don't know what happened with me. Ooh, what is that? I finished. Get up for y'all. Yeah. Yeah, bros. This is the final look. The back. Probably doesn't look that good back there. And then under me for my right foot row hair. My row hair, I left it out. <laughs> but yeah, this is the final look. This hair is a little tangled right now, but that's fine. I'm not gonna brush it out or anything. I'm gonna look like Serena Van Woodson with her like messy curly hair. Um, but yeah, this is the final book. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!